What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money and Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new AEW Unmatched Collection review on the AEW Unmatched Collection Series Number 8 House of Black figures. Now, in this House of Black set, we do have Malachi Black in suit, which is a figure I have been just, just freaking waiting on, man. Been waiting on this figure for a long time. A lot of people are probably watching this thinking, why the hell do you want Malachi Black in a suit, or who the hell cares? I care, damn it. No, but seriously, though, I pref like I really enjoy wrestling action figures where the superstar is not in their wrestling gear. Because we get so many in their in their wrestling gear, man, but on TV, how often do you see them backstage or cutting a promo where they're not in their wrestling gear, man? It's more than wrestling. You got the backstage stuff. You get all this different stuff. And growing up as a kid, I always wanted different figures of my favorite superstars in their backstage gear. You know, sometimes we got Jack's t-shirt figures or guys in jeans and suits and stuff, and I always enjoyed those. So getting an articulated version of Malachi Black here is, is undefeated. And we also have first time in the line Brody King and Buddy Matthews. Love Buddy Matthews in the ring. Love Brody King. I mean, dude, these these look very good. I'm very excited to have these. I just noticed there's a damn ladybug right here, man. Let's get you out of here, fella. No free promos over here, Brad. Nonetheless, man, if you want to grab AEW and match series number eight, first of all, you need to go watch our CM Punk review from yesterday, man. Very interesting figure nonetheless. But if you want to grab these figures and more, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But today, man, we're diving into Malachi Black, Brody King, and Buddy Matthews, the House of Black. And I've been waiting on this wave for a, a long-ass time, man. Look at Malachi Black here. You guys can see it kind of looks like just like a floating head right here with how damn dark it looks. Malachi Black on the side. You got Malachi Black over there. Nice shot of Malachi on the back there. Or Alistair. I, I really prefer Alistair Black compared to Malachi Black, but still cool nonetheless. We also have Buddy Matthews here. Heard his head sculpt was massive. We're going to find out here today. I really do like the interchangeable head sculpt. What a stud in the ring, though, man. What a just great athlete, man. Got the rest of the figures in the wave. And then, last but not least, we do have Brody King over here. <laughs> figures looking pretty damn snazzy, man. Lots of tattoo on here. Really, really happy. I, I think all three of these guys are pretty damn toyetic, so it should be fun, man. But nonetheless, let's shut the hell up, crack these guys out of their packaging, and find out what the House of Black AEW Unmatched Series 8 figures are all about. So here is the House of Black out of the packaging, man. Really enjoying these figures so far from what I've seen, of course. But what we're going to do is just like we do all of our faction or tag team reviews, man. We're going to dive into each figure individually, break down the accessories and the figure itself, get into the comparisons, break down the full thing, and take a look at a bunch of different comparisons about these figures, and just dive into the true details of each figure in the set and just kind of break all of it down, man. So with that being said, let's dive into the accessories you get with Buddy Matthews, then we'll cover Buddy, then we'll go to Brody, and then we will finally cover Malachi Black. So getting into Buddy Matthews' accessories, man, let's start things off with the entrance coat or duster and on this piece it is a vest now it's very similar to the malachi i guess it was what the supreme collection that had that like skeletal sort of framework or little brace or whatever you want to say that would go over the cloth goods and here they're kind of morphed together so you do get some really good sculpts in here and i apologize for the camera work there for a moment but you guys can see the spine in there and the rib cage very nice sculpt work and i guess like i don't like that the hood's on i would prefer that they i mean it's <laughs> it's tough to say because you definitely i would prefer this to be cloth but i mean and then you're getting into Supreme Collection style stuff. And I, I just don't like sculpted hoods or rubber hoods like this. You guys know I hate rubber accessories, but it's tattered at the bottom. I think it's okay for display. I certainly wouldn't use it to, like, fed with, I don't think, unless I hacked the hood off, which I guess could be a thing. Or maybe put a cloth, really thin hoodie underneath or something. I don't know. I'm just saying. I, I just don't like the hoods up, but I understand why it's, why it's done that way. But, yeah, I have some really cool sculpts going on, so that's definitely something to talk about. And, you know, it goes on and off the figure nicely, so that's good. And then I think one of the better things about the House of Black is the sick mass, man. And they really just remind me of like the Purge or something, you know, or just the Blair Witch Project. Just something very cultish or very dark and horror themed. It's very awesome. But I love the sculpt work that we have going on on Buddy Matthews right here, man. How you have these curls going on. It looks just like his wet hair, which I really like. But these head sculpts are definitely massive. They are big, especially this one over here. You guys can kind of just tell there. It has good likeness to Buddy Matthews. It kind of looks like a hand-painted prototype, but the likeness is there. I definitely like the likeness and everything like that. But this mask is badass. I really do like it here. Really wish we could get, like, this makes me, if I find this figure again, I'm gonna buy it again. Like, I do have two of the Brody, Brody Kings. I may go in and carve out all of the extra face and stuff and get some just masks by themselves so they can just hold the mask, if that makes sense. So that would be pretty cool to do. But, yeah, this looks sickening. And then again, you do have the Buddy Matthews head sculpt here. And look at those curls, man. Those look really, really good. So, I like that. I always liked Buddy's beard and his haircut. I, I don't know. He's just, dude, he looks like a beast, man. Shout out to Buddy Matthews. What a dog. Absolutely 
absolute unit. And then for interchangeable hands, it gets a bit weird. The right side has this tape and the left side doesn't, but the fisted hands are like your Young Buck style hands or like the Young Buck sculpt with the white tape that does have the white peg, so that's good. But then you have these open hands, which you could use for a lot of different stuff, which I think we've seen these before, I want to say. But you guys can see that the, the tape is sculpted over here and not sculpted on the fisted hand, so it's only painted onto the, onto the fisted hand, and then it's actually sculpted onto the wide open hand. And then on the figure itself, the wrist tape is not sculpted, it's painted on. So it's just kind of one of those things that's kind of, it, the lack of consistency is kind of annoying. But then over here you have the open hand, and then you have the fisted hand. And that is your Buddy Matthews accessories. Alright guys, so getting into Buddy Matthews, starting off the head sculpt, I like the likeness. I don't think it's perfect by any stretch, but again, I really like the curls on the head sculpt, specifically here on the side. I just think that looks just like him. I like the thick beard going on. Again, what a handsome beast, man. If he were to watch this side, dude, you're a beast, man. Absolute money in the ring, man. Underrated right here, man. Gotta love Buddy Murphy slash Buddy Matthews, but I love the curls here that we're seeing here with the wet hair and whatnot, but just to give you guys kind of a sense of how damn big this head is, here's the Elite 84 Buddy Murphy head sculpt, and just kind of, like, just look at the size difference. And you may not be able to tell, but I'm telling you, in person, it's pretty staggering. But his head sculpt kind of has that painted prototype look going to it, but he does have the big chest in there. Now, Buddy Matthews has a massive chest, and if you were to torso swap the Brian Danielson torso that they give him on here, it'd probably be more accurate. Or the Trent torso, you know how they gave him the massive chest, but I still like these. I think they did a good job. You have the painted on elbow pad. Here's what I'm talking about on the wrist, man. So the wrist tape is painted on, but the hand tape is sculpted in there, so I just think that's a bit weird. But wrist tape on this side, I do like the crotch piece. You know, he's got those shorts that have the crotch sculpted right there, which is nice. We saw that on his elite figures from Mattel. He's got the straps in there and everything. You do have the sights crossing right there. You have Matthews going on the side there. And then it's just black gear. He does have these new sculpted shorts in here, though, that are new, which I do like. These are very moldable. They're not stiff. He's got his knee pads in there that are textured. Very cool figure, man. Even these kick pads are textured right there. So a lot of really unique and cool sculpts going on. A really cool piece, man. I, I like everything going on here, man. Pretty good ab crunch in there. He does have the ball hinge here. Not going to flex up much because of the hair, but he can get he can look up just a little bit there, which is good. All this is buttery smooth, man. It's all buttery smooth. It feels good in the hand and everything like that. Split. Kick forward is decent, you know. I know with Buddy Murphy, you're going to want to get those knees in there, which is pretty good right there, I'd say, without, you know, if I'm pick, like when you pick fed, man, it's a lot about, not only is it about posing, like you really do need to pose well, but a lot of it is manipulation, honestly. Like you're manipulating the eye of the camera and you're trying to give the viewer the illusion that something is happening by the way you pose it. So, like, that's why when you're posing, this is kind of a tip for posing and pick fetting, if anybody gives a damn. But when you do it, overdo the pose. Overemphasize the moves. You don't want to be stiff. Like, if I'm going, if I'm doing, like, a knee or something, don't be like this. Like, you see how, like, it just looks like he's, I don't know, it's just not there, man. Get, like, use every damn joint of this guy, man. Use every damn joint. Get this up in here, bend that thing tight, point the knee down, get up in there like this, and, like, freaking get this thing in here, man. You want to really emphasize the knee, and I don't know, like, just use every joint, man. Articulate every single joint. That is the best posing tutorial I can give. Give him some dynamic. Dynamic, man. Make it dynamic. Freaking bend that thing. I don't know how I got on a pick fed rant, but nonetheless, let's get into some damn Buddy Matthews figure comparisons. So for your Buddy Matthews slash Buddy Murphy figure comparisons here, I used to have that Joker custom that he wore from his WrestleMania match. Sold that custom a little while back. Great figure, by the way. And I never don't, I don't think I ever obtained the chase, which is pretty much this figure, except in black, which is kind of this figure, but combined with this figure and this figure, it's very weird. But you guys can see the scaling, that's really my biggest issue with a AEW figures. I just think all their figures are too big. You know, originally they did scale well with Mattel. Now they've entered into their own scale and you have to do a bunch of different things to kind of get them to, to match up. Like some figures fit, some figures don't. And it's just kind of finding the happy medium there. But I like this figure a lot because I like Buddy Matthews, Buddy Murphy. But I don't know. I, j I definitely think he's way too big. But it is cool to see these up next to each other. And you could probably head swap it or what have you. This head sculpt's not going to look good on here though. It's going to absolutely swallow him. And also, I was posing these two figures around today and I don't know how the hell we lived through the single jointed arm era. I think it's trash. It's so bad, man. I can't, I don't think I'll ever be able to fed again without a double jointed arms. All right, man, so for Brody King's accessories, he pretty much gets the same stuff as Buddy Matthews, but it is switched around a little bit. So just like Buddy, he does also come with an entrance duster thing with the skeletal. It's like pretty much the same sculpt on the back when it comes to the rib cage and the intertwines and the spinal cord. But I mean, they're pretty damn similar, man. I mean, this is, you guys can see the fronts are a little bit different. I do like that they're unique 
unique to each guy and they're not just the same exact thing. And on the bottom, Brody Kings is a little bit more together than Buddy Matthews. You know, Buddy Matthews shorts are even ripped up, so I guess it kind of just matches the theme there. But you get the point there. You, you get the entrance dusters on both. They're both rubber. They both have hoods. They're both, I mean, I don't hate them, but I don't necessarily like them, I guess. Good sculpts, but I, I just would rather, I don't know, man. Give me, I, just me, I don't, I'm not going to win this argument. And then for Brody King's skull mask right here, man, this just looks so great. And it really reminds me of the Wyatt Colt and whatnot from my pick fed. And so, you know, he's got like this bandana underneath and then he's got the antler mask with the skull and everything. It just looks so dope. Again, just another thing where I want to buy an extra. I mean, I have an extra one of these. I don't know if I want to leave it mint on card or not just yet, but I do. I would like to kind of just like, sand all this stuff off, man. Just have the skull mask by itself so he could actually hold it. I think that would be cool, but very cool and unique. Just great sculpts going on here, man. Just great paintwork as well. The antlers look good. They all look good, man. I can't wait to see all of them dressed up next to each other at that point in the video, but he also comes with the unmasked head sculpt, which I like. He's kind of like the gentleman's haircut, I like to say. It's like slick back, and then you have the shaved underneath right there. It'd be cool to have a fade. Beard looks good. Likeness is there. I like the likeness. I like the gritting head sculpt as well. I kind of wish he was a little bit more pissed, but I, I still like it, man. Yeah, the Brody King head sculpts look good to me. So make this make sense. His fisted hands have the sculpted tape on there, but it is in black. They have the black pegs as well, but this looks like the exact same hand sculpt as Buddy Matthews. And then he also comes with the same hands as the Buddy Matthews ones, man. This is the same exact thing. I got a little paint chip right there. I got some paint on there or something right there on my hands. But you guys can see it's sculpted hands again. But the fist or the one fist that came with Buddy Matthews did not have the sculpt on there, which I think is interesting. And also his wrist tape's actually sculpted on his figure, but not sculpted on the Buddy Matthews. So it's just a bunch of weird stuff going on here, man. All right, guys. So getting into Brody King, really like the head sculpt, man. Really like the head sculpt here. Beard's thick. He's pissed off. He's got a nice haircut going for him. I like it. I like Brody King as well. So this is good stuff right here, man. Good stuff. Love the torso right here. I do believe this is a new torso. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't think it is. I'm not entirely sure here, but the tattoo looks damn good. And one thing that's awesome is they continued the tattoo, man. I was really worried that when you did this, there'd be a hard line and it'd be naked right there. So them continuing that is great because it also hides that gap. There's like a tiny gap there, but you can't even really tell because of the tattoo. So that looks awesome, man. But he's very toyetic, man. This guy is tatted up more than me. So is Malachi Black. I got more tattoos than Buddy Matthews, though. So, like, I honestly, when you, once once you get this many tattoos, I don't know if anybody with a lot of tattoos can relate, but I feel like I just, like, I, you kind of forget about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you end up with so many tattoos, and then you, like, are walking around with a t-shirt on, and you have so many tattoos exposed, and it's just, what the heck? Yeah, I guess I am that tatted guy, but I don't even think about it, but he's got a ton of tattoo detail going on, man. You, you have to, like, every time I look at this figure, I feel like I see something new, man, but he's got this massive, dude, look at that. Okay, you do get a little bit of that gapping in the back there, but it's not nearly as bad as the front, so that is good to see there, but he is tatted up to the gills, man. I mean, he's got the damn throat tattooed right there, the whole chest, his arms, his legs. I mean, this guy is tatted the hell up, but it looks awesome. He's he almost got like a full bodysuit going on here, but very clean aesthetic going on, I think. Got the black wrist tape in there. House of Black style graphics with Brody on there. Very cool stuff going on. Tons of tattoos on the legs as well. Big beefy boy right here, man. Got the thigh wraps that are sculpted on there, and then he has his own knee pads that are similar to Buddy Matthews, but they are different. They're a slightly longer larger. They have that same sculpt on there, and then he does have the scythes in there, which is awesome, dude. This is so damn good. He's got the ladies tattooed right there, man. Dude, this is just sick as hell, man, and I don't know how accurate the tattoos are, but look at this. It's even, they even got the calves right there. They could have easily left that off, but you can see all the calf tattoos right there, and you guys can see this thigh wrap or this knee wrap is actually sculpted in there, so you have the tattoos actually on the calves, man. This is a beast of a figure. And then he does have these tall boots that are kind of like the Luke Gallo style with the flames on there, a very, I don't know, there's definitely guys over the years that have rocked these style boots. The tall ones with the, you know, the flame designs on there in white. Very clean looking there. And not only does the figure look good, man, but he poses around pretty damn good, too. I mean, he can look all the way up. Look at that right there. He can look all the way up. Can't look down that much because of the beard, but his ab crunch is pretty good. Of course, you do get this diaphragm movement. Buttery smooth joints here. Double jointed arms. You have the bicep swivel. You have full splits, of course, because he's on ball joints. And look at this kick forward, man. That is good. This is good man. This is good stuff. Double jointed knee, boot swivel, ankle pivot, boots go down and up. Very poseable and pretty damn tight for sure. I mean, I'm really enjoying this Birdie King figure. I think we have sort of a, a figure of the year candidate in front of our faces right now, which is kind of crazy to say, but he's looking pretty damn good. Now, I'm not going to do their full mass stuff until the end of the video. However, I do kind of want to look at him up next to some other, you know, Malachi figures. So we have the Supreme Collection right here, which he kind of towers over there. And then here he is against the suited 
did Malachi there. So just kind of some, some comparisons there. And you guys can see the, the suit of Malachi is kind of taller than the Supreme a little bit there. So that's, I don't know, man, playing around with that scale that we were talking about. But this Brody King's damn good. And now we're getting into Malachi Black's accessories right here. And just like the other guys, we are getting interchangeable head sculpts here. You have like this straight face here with the purple makeup or what have you on there. Kind of looks like a black eye, of course. Maybe it is a black eye. I can't remember off the top of the dome. I don't think it was a black eye. Pretty sure it was meant to be this way. But he's got like the gritting pissed off head sculpt. And then he does have his like moon tat right there, which looks really good. I mean, these look good. I think they look like the character. They remind me of Malachi or Alistair, whatever you want to say. Tommy End. I, I, you know, the likeness is there. I like this. Even has the tattoos on the neck right there, which I also think is a great detail. Got some slight wrinkles in there. And I do believe we've seen this head sculpt before, maybe on the Supreme Collection. I think we've seen both these head sculpts before, but are these the same? The beard low-key looks a little bit thicker over here, but I think these are the exact same. It's just painted differently. Or maybe I'm tripping. I can't really tell. Maybe somebody can let me know, but the skin tones are a little bit... He's a little bit more tan on this figure compared to this one, but yeah, different face paints. I'm really excited for the Jazzwares Vault exclusive Supreme Malachi Black that's coming. I'm probably going to order like three or four of those, so that should be fun. But yeah, that's the head sculpts that you get. And then uh, if you wanted to compare these, I, uh, that's the same damn one. How'd that happen? Yeah, the straight face there, which... I, I prefer a more pissed off, just stoic head sculpt. But yeah, they still look pretty good. I'm interested to see what a Mattel WWE Elite head sculpt looks like on this suited body. But maybe we can make that happen in this video. We'll have to see. And then for his interchangeable hands, he kind of has a Samoa Joe syndrome going on. So we have a new syndrome going on. So with AEW and Jazzwares, it's Samoa Joe syndrome. And then with WWE Mattel, it's Johnny Gargano syndrome. But these hands are baby hands, man. These are like, I guess it kind of looks like he's cupping. or It kind of looks like he's trying to cup his hands for water or something is kind of what the this sculpt reminds me of but i guess you could use it as like relaxed hands gripping hands you could probably hold a microphone and whatnot with these but they're certainly just very small so here's the Supreme mic holding hand we got with his Supreme figure, and then here is the hand that comes with this new one. And you can't really tell, but in person you can certainly tell. They look like baby hands, man. They certainly do. And he also comes with these interchangeable entrance hands, like sort of like his hands way out wide. And they really should have just given him the same hands that they gave Buddy. So Buddy, Buddy comes with this hand, right? And they could have just given him two of these and printed the tattoos on there because I mean, these are pretty much the exact same look here. I mean, look little bit different, but look how different the, the, just the tiny hand is, man. Look at this. I don't know. Put some decals or something on these, man. I don't know. I, I just don't like these. And then my other hand, this one, the the, the right hand's like his fingers got broken out of the damn packaging, man. He, he, he double-crossed somebody the wrong way, Brad. I mean, he got his fingers broken, so I don't know. You can hit that with a hairdryer. And if you guys want to fix this, run a hairdryer on it for 60 seconds, pick it up by the peg, and then hold it in the position that you want, like straight or whatever the hell you want to do there and then run it under cold water from a sink. And that's the way you fix the broken fingers, man. But yeah, I don't but I don't like those hands with the Malachi Black. All right, man, getting into the Unmatched Series 8 Malachi Black figure, starting at the top of the head sculpt. We already took a look at it for the most part, but I like it. I think it fits pretty well here. I don't think I'm dealing with, like, an oversized head or anything. I am going to pop the Elite 73 Alistair Black head sculpt on here when we get to that moment and the comparisons and whatnot. But the suited body looks pretty damn good, and you guys know I love a good suited body. Now, it is just plain black, right? Like, you have the jet black. Like, at first, I was thinking, it, okay, I guess there's two ways you could look at this. Is this a suited jacket that is buttoned up? And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, this button's not there, but these buttons are buttoned. And then it's, like, kind of a slim fit suit. Or, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a collared shirt underneath a black vest that has a small collar with a black tie underneath, is what I'm thinking. But the double jointed arms look good. The cuffs are all sculpted in here. All this is great. I, I do like this, regardless if it's supposed to be a collared shirt with a vest over it or a suited jacket. It still looks good, and I like the... You got the belt in there. What's cool also is you're getting, like, some tattoos on the neck back there, which I think is awesome. But, you know, the pants look good, which I also like, you know. Sculpts are all nice and everything. He does have shin cut which is cool. And they're not like, I mean, they're pretty slim pants, but they're not super baggy, which is good. But he does have his dress shoes in there with the brown outsoles, which is very interesting. But I mean, he can pose around well, man. He feels pretty buttery smooth. He's got all the AEW articulation you like as he pops off there. Can't look down and up that much, but he can do the splits. He can kick forward very well, which is good. Double jointed knee in there, which is good. Thigh cut and shin cut, which is just chef's kiss, man. Always appreciate Jazzwares for putting that in there for me. Love that. But this figure is really nice. I do like this figure, but we do have to get into some Malachi Black comparisons. So for your comparisons, man, we do have the Unmatched Series 8 here. We have the Supreme Collection here, the Elite 85, the 
Elite 85 Chase. The Elite 73 sort of fix up gear. It's pretty much the Elite 73. And then we have the NXT Elite, which was a massive thing. I remember when the NXT Elite Target Exclusive Aleister Black drop, man. People were looking for that like they were looking for food, man. It was insane. Just the... I remember I, I looked uh, across. I scanned the land of the earth and the depths of the bottoms of the sea to find that shish. And I finally made a deal to my man Dean Joseph. Shout out Dean Joseph for helping me out with that deal, man. And then I, over the years I have built up a small collection of Aleister Black figures, but... And this isn't all of them. I have some customs and th the reason you don't see the Unmatched Series 6 figure is because I turned that one into a custom, which you guys will see at a later date. So many... so There's so many projects that like the channel has no idea about. And I put all these projects out there and there's so many behind the scenes that nobody even knows about which are crazy, which really... I have customs in my collection that I honestly think are the best ones in my entire collection. Nobody's even seen them, so it's kind of crazy. Like, two people know about them. Nonetheless, man, I like the, like, you know, this suit of body's not that bad. I, you know, I always felt like Mattel made him way too small. So these figures really, like, this one's fixed up, this one's fixed up. I feel like this height is more accurate than these over here, and you can't really tell the difference. Look at that shish right there. This is a stock AEW figure versus a stock Mattel figure. Same character, and I mean, this is a massive gap right there, man. And then, here is the fix-up where I've made him taller. This is, this is definitely closer. It's definitely not ideal. But I also want to just, you know, pop this off. Let's go ahead and put the... So, I did hollow out this Elite 73 Aleister Blackhead sculpt and put some sticky tack in there. You know, you can just kind of sit this on here. And I don't know, man. That right there, that'll get you going. That looks like he's about to just freaking kick your face off. So, I really dig that. I like this a lot. So, I actually dig the head sculpt swap right there. That may be something I have to do, but then get him up next to each other. I don't know, man. I don't know if there's a fix-up you can do that can really lower his height anymore between these two, but that's... I don't know, man. Nonetheless, let's take a look at some other House of Black stuff. Alright, guys, so here's the House of Black in all of their garb and stuff like that. I did add the Supreme Malachi in the middle, put the antler mask with, like, the gray and texture, and then I put the Elite 73 jacket on there just to kind of... I, I don't know where the hell my Supreme is. It's probably... At least, I don't know where the entrance gear is. It's somewhere. I'll find it. So, one day. Maybe. We'll see. But it is cool to see the House of Black all up next to each other. It's pretty surreal, to be honest with you. But these scale really well, which is kind of crazy. You know, I just wish they weren't so damn big compared to... Like, look at Brody King up next to this Aleister Black over here, man. This is a Mattel Aleister Black up next to the rest of the House of Black. And I don't know, man. I just... Uh... God. And then I also did a head swap with the Unmatched Series 8 Malachi. I went ahead and put one of his antler head sculpts on there just so if you guys wanted to see what that looks like. But, you know, it's still badass. It's just, God, I wish the scale was accurate, man, but... Nonetheless, man, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video, man. That is going to wrap up the review. I'm not going to put them on the rotating base. We're just going to finish this shish up right here, man. But I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. I really enjoy the figures. If you guys want my final thoughts here, I, I really like them. I really, really do. Love the suited Malachi figure. Figure I've been waiting on for a really long time. Love the Brody King as well. The Buddy Matthews isn't perfect. I do like the figure. I just think that the scale is all whack. And then the head sculpt, of course, is too big. But for the figures themselves, they are good. Like, on their own, if, as they stand, they are really good, and I love the sculpts and tattoos. This Brody King's a must-grab, I think. I love the Malachi as well in the suit, but I'm a suit guy. I like the suits and the different attires, of, as we've discussed, but if you guys want to grab these figures, you can do so. Over at Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Of course, when shopping over there, man, I greatly appreciate that. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap it up. I'd, I'd say grab all three of them. I really do like them. I think they're, I don't know, I don't, I guess they're not must-have, but they're definitely something to look into, man. But a huge shout-out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. Had two new sign-ups just the other day, man. Huge shout-out to these guys, man. We have Tony Collector underscore 10. Huge shout-out to you, brother, for signing up. And another sign-up we had was going to be Cody Matthew, man. Huge shout-out to Cody Matthew for joining on, man. I appreciate these guys so very much for their continued support. And the rest of the patrons, man. You guys are absolutely awesome. Been dropping a ton of heat and teasers on there this week. So maybe if that's something you're interested in, man, go check that out. But I greatly appreciate all you guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all your thoughts down in the comment section below on these figures. I'd like to hear it. But I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.